We would like to say, first of all, thanks to everybody that uh, made possible to be here, to the DEFCOM staff, the Baidu, everybody. This is a dream. Thank you very much. Um, well, we both are a big bag of nervous, so we, we will try to, uh, to do our, our best. Well, presentations. My partner, my, my colleague, he, he comes from Argentina. Uh, he is one of the members and the red team in ISEC Auditors. Uh, we work together. And he is a bug bounty hunter since a long time ago. Well, this is his Twitter account and me. I am Gonzalo Sánchez, I come from Spain, I'm the Red Team Leader in ISEC Auditors. Um, well, this is uh, my LinkedIn account in case of anybody wants to contact. Yeah. Hello, Deco. Uh, today we present how to use in Google uh, with different compression format. Well, um, what we are going to, to, to talk, we bring to the account a uh, vulnerability in Google Earth. Uh, why Google Earth? Well, uh, because Google is a challenge. Um, a very huge company with uh, fantastic products, um, with a very good reputation, with reliable levels of security in their products. Um, many people use uh, Google products and if you are able to have a vulnerability, find a vulnerability and use it to spread malware, you are uh, using a platform with a spreading potential, uh, very huge, very, very big. So in this case, for malware application, um, it's, it's perfect. Nice Colombo, this is uh, the, the name of the, the com. Um, nice Colombo, uh, Colombo is um, a very popular phrase in Argentina, which refers to I have one or more problems. Yeah, confusion, problem, mess. This is Quilombo. Well, the attack vector, KML files. Um, with, what is a KML file? Well, it's a file uh, with a very similar format to XML with geographical information uh, inside. Um, uh, this is the, the key importable in, in, in Google Earth. We are going to work with the description file of the KML file. Um, we are going to show an example of a of, of file. Please, guys, can you connect the, the screen? We are going to show a file an example of KML file with a location that is this, this hotel. Well, easy. It's a very similar format comparing to, sorry, with XML file. The key here is that we have field files with the um, location of the hotel, names, web, and here the magic the description file. This is the file that we are going to use in the next vulnerabilities. We... Another kind of file for attack vectors, came and set, is the same of KML file, but compressed with zip format. Um, if you take the same file that we have seen, you compress it in zip file, and you import it in uh, Google Earth. Uh, Google Earth is uh, renders the file and shows the, 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 the location. Easy. Uh, there is no need to less time with the... Um, there is an advantage when we talk with Cayman's 
file that is the obfuscation because uh, the file is compressed and um, it complicates to identif identify the payload of the of the file. They are not suspicious files. We are familiar with executable files talking about malware, but probably if you see a KML file, you don't suspect about this file. And well, this is an advantage for us. It's obfuscated because it's compressed and it's very common in the internet. We can find a lot of files in the internet. Well, where can we find the, uh, where, where can we find this kind of files? Well, uh, forums, for example, uh, Pokemon Go, sites of uh, bicycles routes, um, official sites with geographical information, earthquakes, fires. Uh, this is an example of NASA. Um, well, there's a, a lot of sites sharing information in this kind of formats. This scenario. This is the victim and host with Google Earth installed. The victim imports a KML file and into this file comes the downloader. The downloader is executed and communicates with an intermediate server that it's communicating with the real attacker, with the real payload that it's uh, downloaded by the intermediate server and it's um, delivered to the victim. And after that, the connection directly with the attacker. Versions affected? Well, we have uh, detected this problem with the current versions of Google Earth for Windows and Linux. Uh, in this presentation, we are we are focused on, on the Windows version. Well, uh, summary, location. Um, the vulnerability is present into the JavaScript core of Google Earth. And we are talking about a null pointer and also an injection of JavaScript. We are going to, to see uh, this in, in, in detail. Well, we bring three impacts to show a remote cell and a Google cookie takeover using the new pointer vulnerability and a Monero mining using the JavaScript injection. This is a virtual machine that will be the attacker and the victim is my, my computer. And uh, my computer is Windows, okay. And this is the virtual machine with the, the the real attacker. Well, the victim has Google Earth and he has imported a site with a uh, arbitrary name that uh, is, is uh, in this case, is Google One. Well, we have to start the server. The server is the intermediate server. In order to uh, make easy the presentation, the intermediate server and the attacker will be the same machine, this one, okay? The intermediate server is the... attacker? Okay. This is the intermediate server. The victim has imported and click on the site and the, co the connection has received into the uh, intermediate server. So, we have it. And we are going to show the remote cell, the impact one. Okay. First of all, uh, basic uh, command execution. We will show and we will share the exploit. Um, well, Defcon has the, the exploit and probably will share when Google fix this this problem. But uh, this is a help to to use it. Um, we are going to execute the command. Remote command, basic operation like a sample, and it's received. And now we can access to files in the victim. The file is downloaded, and we have it into the attacker machine. We have access to the victim's file. The file is downloaded, and we can check it. 
Bingo. Okay. This is for the impact one, remote shell and file access into the victims file. Okay. Um, seguimos. Okay. Um, guys, please return to presentation. Impact two. We are going to use the victims computer to mine Monero. Um, here we have a problem because uh, the con we are using uh, JavaScript code from CoinHive. Um, unfortunately, um, we cannot connect to this site with the internet connection, but we can show at least the Cayman file. Here we are not exploiting uh, the null pointer vulnerability. Uh, here we are injecting JavaScript code into a um, description file. What we are doing here is connect with CoinHive and downloading the JavaScript code for the Monero mining. Um, when you import this file in Google Earth, machine starts mining and resources collapse and what? You have a problem with your, with your computer. But as I said, uh, we cannot solve this, this, this problem because there is a problem with the internet connection in, in, in this case. So we can continue with the presentation. And the last impact is the Google account hijacking. And what we are going to do is to take over the cookies of the big teams. What we are doing now, because we have access to the files in the big teams computer, we are accessing for, um, for the cookies.sqlit file in the Firefox uh, folder where the big team stores its own uh, Gmail cookies. What do we need uh, in this case? This is a type of social engineering uh, attack because we need that the big team has opened the Firefox browser with an open session in Gmail with this uh, file with the, the credentials inside. In this attack, the big team with the browser open with the uh, Gmail account opened imports the KML file in Google Earth and we have access to its cookies file. Now we go to our browser. This is the uh, folder of the attacker because we are going to uh, open the Firefox browser in the attacker PC, opening the, the cookies of the big team. We delete any cookie in the attacker's browser. Import the file.
week after Cookies Fall, and we are going to export the information in CSV, CSV format. using CSV format in order to make easy the transport between between files. Sorry, we are a little bit nervous. Um, okay. This is the server. side oops and oh it's, it's closer what? let's start again If you can see, this, this is a virtual machine, Windows, of the big team. The big team has opened Firefox. Now we are starting the server, same that we did some seconds ago, and the big team clicks on the malicious file. Here, the um, connection is received, and now we execute with the get cookie option. Here we have exported the, the file. And here we are export in CSV format. Select all from the Mozilla cookies table. This is the cookies file of the Mozilla Firefox of the attacker. We are going to drop 
the table with the cookies of the attacker and we are going to import here the victim's cookies. Drop the current table of Mozilla cookies and import with the file generated. And open Firefox and we have the session of the victim. Please excuse that we didn't achieve this in live show, but it's so difficult <laughs> to achieve it. So these are the three impacts that we wanted to, to show. It's a short description in order when they've concerned the, the, the exploit to everybody. The malicious game file we have seen so many times this morning. This is the server, the intermediate server that receives the communications from the victim, and this is the attacker. This is the the Python that has mainly all the functionality. Everything is developed in Python, and well, this is uh, the structure of the exploit. Ah oh, well, many thanks to, for everything. Incredible hard two days with a lot of problems with connections and well, it uh, was hard for us to to bring, but at least we could show you this this material. So thank you very much for everybody, special for the guys that help us in the last hour, Hector Paulino, uh, well, lot of people, Raiko and thank you everybody to be here and give us the opportunity to tell this and show this. I hope to you enjoy with the material. Thanks.